Okay, so uh, one thing I didn't make clear that I want to make clear is uh, when we were A-Bing between the two different stereo buses, the analog and the digital, right? Uh, the analog was an API. It's my API output. I described earlier that I have an API, I have a Neve, and a tube. So what I'm going to do now is just for fun is I'm going to show you initially the API, and we'll let that go for like a few seconds, and we'll stop, and then you'll hear the my stereo uh, bus that's all tube. So here is API. Stereo bus tube. And then back to API. Stop a second. Now, going back to what I said about how to hear, I want you to listen to the sound of the reverb or the echo, however you want to put it, or the compression on the snare drum. Not, not the sound of the snare drum, but the ring of the snare drum, right? The ring of it. So here is now the API. Listen to the ring. And now, here is the tube. Listen to the ring. Okay. So you can hear, there's a big difference in that, right? When you hear the tube, when you really hear the ring, the length of the note, and we're hearing it really ring out. Where in the other one, you're not hearing it as far. Why? Goes back to the lower level information, right? The tube, again, has even the highest resolution. It's even more res resolution than the solid state, right? So when you hear the tube, you really can hear that ring. And if we were to do this with the digital, we would hear, OK, ooh, now, now the digital sounds, we can't hear the ring nearly as much. And when we get to the tube, we'd hear the most of it. That's the low level stuff. Again, it's a, learning how to listen, what to listen for, so when you're evaluating two different things, you're making the right evaluation. Maybe you don't want more ring, by the way. It's not that the ring's important. It just is the lower level stuff. And that's the stuff you need to listen to to hear the difference in the highs and lows and what's happening with the length of the notes and everything. OK, so we're going to do one more test. And uh, I'm going to show you the difference, actually, with the API and adding the Neve. I was talking about the sound of the Neve being very warm and thick. Uh, some people call it fuzzy. Some people call it glue. I've heard it defined a lot of different ways. So let's start with the API. Here's the API sound. OK. And now we'll plug in the Neve. Now you hear, you know, let's go back to API one more time before I make a comment. Here's API again. Okay, so you can hear with the API, it's very focused, really nice in the mid range, and the Neve has that sort of low bottom end, right, warm, thicky thing. And put the Neve in again, hear it. And that, again, you can really hear the nice, thick, warm thing that the Neve has. So it's just choosing different things. Do I want the Neve? You know, what kind of uh, stereo bus do I want? What's really interesting about the ear training is as you get better and better about identifying sound and quality and resolution and emotion and feel, bandwidth, distortion, harmonics, the more you learn how to listen and identify all that the more you start hearing all kinds of things. And it's very interesting. I can't tell you how many times I've been mixing something. Uh, and I'll say to somebody, did you uh, record this on tape? Or did you record this on digital? Did you record this on 48? Did you record this at 96, 44? You can actually hear every one of those. It's very, very interesting. And I hate it. 
This is my personal opinion. I don't think 48K sounds very good at all. Much prefer 44.1 or 96. Now I understand 48 is half of 96 or half of you know, the 82, the 44.1. I understand all that argument. All I know is every time I have a hard time and I don't really like the way the record feels and the way it comes together, it's 48K consistently for a decade. And 44.1 always sounds so much more musical to me, so much easier to work with. Everything likes it. The analog gear likes it. The digital gear likes it. It loves 96, right? And 88.2 always sounds kind of bland. It just kind of sits there. And 48 always sounds a little strident, a little hard to me, not as clear, um, very digital. I think out of all the different choices, 48K is the most digital sounding to me. I hear it every single time.